roller derby is a really unique sport in that there's a place for everybody. In some sports, you have to be like really small or thin, and in others, you want to, you have, they want you to be like really, really tall. And in roller derby, there's just, we can use every body type. The little ladies are usually the jammers, so they can just get through the, the blockers really easy, whereas the bigger gals, more meat on their bones are the blockers. I know we haven't heard very much about the sport of roller derby in the Gulf region, but it's actually being considered by the International Olympic Committee for inclusion in the next Olympic Games. The Roller Derby World Cup is massive. It's got such a huge following and it's just such a fast growing sport. So we have two leagues. So there's the Abu Dhabi Roller Derby, which is based in Abu Dhabi. And then there's Dubai Roller Derby, which is placed in uh, Dubai. Uh, we obviously keep in touch because we're the only two leagues in the UAE. So we need the actual support of Abu Dhabi Sports Council to get the sport to be, you know, recognized in this country, uh, that we can move forward, you know, maybe have it in Dubai or have it in here, uh, have leagues, different leagues maybe coming up, I don't know, Roller Derby Alain, maybe, I don't know, Russell Kema, I don't know, maybe. We welcome new skaters at what we call a fresh meet night. That's like a new skater night where it doesn't matter if you've never put on skates a day in your life, it doesn't matter if you've no idea what Roller Derby is, we welcome you to come and try it out and we'll show you what to do, how to fall safely, how to use the equipment safely. And we've never had anybody touch wood get hurt at one of our fresh meat nights because we really emphasize being safe. And for people that aren't comfortable doing the hard hits and the full contact, Dubai Roller Derby actually has a low contact um, recreational league too. So for people that just, you know, might maybe have an old injury or something like that, and uh, maybe not be, might not be so comfortable taking those big hits, then they can do the rec side. But nine times out of 10, people start, they're like, oh, I don't think I could play it, it's too violent. And then they're the ones that were out there slamming into everybody else. <laughs> what we really need is a place with a nice flat floor about the size of a basketball court that we can practice on. Um, we don't ruin floors. People think our skates are going to damage the floors or mark them up. It doesn't. Just the same way that cars don't damage the road. Sometimes it leaves a little bit of a mark, but you can just take that right off. It's just a scuff. Um, we're very respectful to venues. You can maybe see people behind me taking down all the stuff from Do Forum. Um, so that's really what we need, and that's been one of the big changes and one of the things holding us back is that we don't really have a suitable floor to practice on. We are practicing right now at a venue near Safa Park and they've been great to us, but just unfortunately the floor is made of vinyl plastic, so it's really hard to skate on.